Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to make this dollar origami cross with the words In God We Trust across it. Uh, this is a fairly simple origami to make. This video is going to be a slow version, so I'm going to go very slowly and show you every crease and every step we've got to go. If you're looking for a more normal speed video, I also have that, but this video is going to be a little slower. All right. So what we need to do is we're going to start off with a single dollar bill and we're going to fold this dollar bill in half. So I'm going to line up the corners just like so. Put this down. Now we'll crease that. Then we can go ahead and reemphasize this crease using our fingernails if you like or you can use a ruler or popsicle stick or whatever you need. We're going to open this back up so we have the crease down the center. I'm going to rotate this bill so that it is upside down. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bottom edge, well now bottom edge, and then I'm going to fold it right in the crease. So I'm going to take this, fold it right there, but I'm going to line up the corners, make sure they're right on that crease. And one thing you can do is you can fold this down just to be sure. See, we fold that down, we're right on there. Crease like that. We can do the same to the other side. Make sure we're right in there. Give that a little pinch. Then we could pinch, set that down, and then we could crease it along. Then we'll give that the uh, reinforcement from our fingernails. Just like so. So this is where we're at. Okay, the next step is I'm going to fold this over again. So I'm going to take this bottom edge and I'm going to fold it also along that center crease. So I will fold it in there and fold it just like that. But I'm going to start with the corners. That right on top of where the other one was. Making sure we're in our crease. Give that a little pinch. I'm going to go to this side. I'll do the same. Give that a pinch. So we're right in there. I'm going to give them both a pinch. Set that on the table. Then I'm going to, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go right in here. Hold that down. And I'm going to fold it right along that crease line. Just like that. And then with my fingernails, I will reinforce that crease. Okay. So this is where we're at. And you can see we have the In God We Trust already lined up. That's going to be the cross. But now what we need to do is we need to fold this in an accordion style, which means back and forth and back and forth, until we use up the rest of this paper. So, I'm going to flip this over and upside down. I'm going to fold this back and then I'm going to fold this right along this top edge. So, I'm going to fold back there, pinch it down right there, right when it's even with, with the paper behind it. Then I'm going to go to the corner, do the same there, pinch that, pinch and hold both those, and then I will crease that down. You can use whatever method you want to make sure that you're giving a straight crease line. This is just what I'm doing, showing as an example. So I'll pinch that down right when it's right at the edge. And then I will crease this down. Check that, we are right at the edge. Next, I'm going to turn this over. I'm going to fold this down and we're going to do the same thing. So I'm going to make sure we're right on that edge. Give that a little pinch, go to the corner, pinch that down, just like so. Go back to my pinch, and then I will crease that down. Do it again to the other side, pinch that down. Just like so. 
Okay. Let's do it again. We're going to fold this over. Make sure we're right, right, meet up with that paper. Do in that corner. Pinch that. I'm going to double check that because that didn't roll right. Okay. Same on this side. All right, looks like we're almost there. We're on our last fold. Now this fold, we fold it down. And if for some reason it doesn't go all the way and you're short and it only goes halfway or like mine, it's just got a little extra, that's okay. I wouldn't worry about that. We have a way to fix that. See, just like this. <clears throat> now this right here, this back side isn't going to show in our model. So it's okay if it only folds halfway or partially or unevenly. That won't matter too much. What matters is as long as we have a good straight edge here. Once we have this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to really press it down and re-emphasize all those creases. Put them all to stay together. Just like that. Alright, once we have this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, right before the eye and the in, I'm going to pinch it back. I'm going to line up this bill all the way across. So that lines up perfectly. And then I will pinch it down. Just like so. Then I'm going to open this up. And then after the T in trust, I'm going to do the same thing there. So I'm going to fold that back. I'm going to line up this dollar so that we're nice and aligned all the way through. Then I will pinch that down like so. So at this point this is what we have. It's going to be our bar. Our horizontal bar. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start, doesn't matter which side we start with, so let's go ahead and start with the inside. What we're going to do is we're going to fold it back like so. And then right before the we. So we're going to go right here in the we. We're going to flip it over. I'm going to use my thumb to hold this and I'm going to put it at an angle flip it back. See how we did? I just fold it down so it makes a right angle and you can see how it's right at the top we can make sure we're straight and then we're going to pinch this off. Okay. Now we're going to open it up. Now here's what we're going to do. We're going to make sure we get a good crease here because what we're going to do is we're going to do a reverse fold. So we're going to, once we have that down, we're going to open this up. And then we are going to push this down into itself. And then we're going to close that. Now before we pinch that, we're going to go ahead and line this back up. Make sure we're right by our Wii and it came off a little bit so what we're going to do is we're going to pinch it down here and we're going to guide it a little farther down and, then, and we want it to be right there at our Wii because the Wii is the center of the cross Just like that and we're going to straighten this out and then we're going to pinch it down Okay. Then we're going to fold this one back. 
And the difference is we're going to go up here and right where it turns on this other bar, we're going to put our fingernail there. We're going to pinch this side up so that these line up nicely. See how they're both right angles? They butt up right against each other. Then we're going to make sure we're straight. And then I will pinch that down. And then we're going to open this up and we're going to do the reverse fold. You'll have to work with this a little bit. Sometimes they like to, they'll fight you. All right. Hold that down. I'll make sure those match up. It's pretty good, except this one could use a little bit more. Pull that away just a little bit. Okay, that looks like it lines up fairly well. Now I'm just going to straighten this out. And then pinch it down. Okay. Alright, now we're almost done. The next step is we're going to take this top part here and we're going to fold this down right to the bottom or just shy of the bottom of this this horizontal bar. So we're going to go down and leave just a little bit of room so it doesn't bind and I'm going to pinch the top like so. Okay. Then what we're going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to tuck it in here so you just find a little spot in there Tuck it in and squeeze it down. Okay, now you'll find that this doesn't stay together and hold nice and flat. What you got to do, you see it, it'll separate on itself, is take a book, stick it in the book, flatten that down. Now I wouldn't try ironing this because as soon as you get it wet, it really puffs up and opens out. I've tried this, it doesn't work. So I found if you just put it in a book or put it in your wallet and then sit on that, just something to compress it down, that will help it to stay flat. And if you leave it long enough, it will stay flatter and not open up quite as much. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time.